Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D timeline slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first year or 2015, the details. Then the next year, 2017, 2018, and then 2019. So let's see how to create this 3D isometric timeline slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert, shapes, select hollow circle, draw the circle while holding the shift key, shape outline, make it no outline and go to align center and align middle and here I'm just going to keep only this 25% of this uh, hollow circle and the rest 75 percent i'm just going to delete for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle covering only the one side of the circle and you can see here i have not selected this you can make it no outline or if you want you can give different color also now i'm going to select the circle and the rectangle under format go to merge shapes and just say intersect so you end up with this much text or uh, not text or this much uh, circle only select this uh, shape and press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just going to give some different color maybe a green and then i'm just going to attach it here first rotate it I'll just say flip horizontal and place it something like this. It should be aligned perfectly. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate again. Give some different color, maybe orange and I'm going to place here. I'll just say flip horizontal and then rotate 90 degrees left and I'm going to copy it here. Press Ctrl D, give some different color, maybe I'm going to give uh, purple, again rotate this, and one more, I'm going to select this, Ctrl D, and again give some different color. Now select all these objects, bring it one side and then I'm going to add an arrow here. Go to insert shapes, select an arrow. Again you have to make sure that this is not, no outline should be there and should be aligned properly. And you can give a same color or different color up to your choice. Maybe I'll select this color. For this also I'm just going to select the same color. Now select all these objects and press Ctrl G to duplicate. Select this shape and go to format shape or you can right mouse click just say format shape. So this particular window will come and then go to effects under effects select 3d rotation and preset i'm just going to select under parallel which is isometric top up and then i'm just going to go to 3d format and increase the depth maybe 24 or 25 And then you can change the material and lightning. Maybe this one lightning could be, I'll select this. And then I'm just going to insert a, one more oval shape. And this oval shape also I'm just going to use 
the same effect I'm going to use the same color and then I'll just go here select the same preset and this also I'm going to make it depth of 25 and lightning also I'm just going to select this and just attach it here and make sure that there should not be any outline and press ctrl D one more time reduce the size and put it on top still you can reduce the size So you can see here our design is almost ready now it's time to give the text if you want you can give some shadow effects select the the shape and then go to shadow and you can just select any shadow effect here you can increase the distance and increase the blur size also and for this also you can select a shadow effect And then I'm going to insert some icons. Go to insert icons. You need to have an active internet connection for this. For example, let me just say a uh, location. I will select this. And for I need a flag. I don't know where the flag is maybe people process or any other whatever uh, icons you want you can just add it there no idea where is the flag So I'm just going to select any image here maybe I'll just select uh, this one and say insert this one I'm just going to put it here and you can give whatever color you want and this one I'm going to change to white And you can give some shadow effect also. So one, two, three. So I'm going to add one more here and then the last will be here. You can add the year or you can add a simple text also I'll just add some text add your text here and then the text you can use the same color maybe this blue press ctrl D this will be green this would be orange this is purple and the last is pink then you can uh, do a simple animation for that go to animations enable the animation pane first select this icon and just say add animation go to more entrance effects and say basic zoom ok and then the text should appear with a wipe from top and this should happen after previous now using the 
animation painter i'm just going to copy the animation select this icon first animation painter click on this one then the text likewise i have to do one by one So this is my fourth and then I will select this and then the last one. So we have done our animation. So let's see how it looks in the slideshow. So this is how it looks in the slideshow. When I click, it will show you the first text, then the second, fourth and fifth. So that's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.